Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a short one, but it's kind of builds off a previous video I did where I began organizing my journaling space. Well, as you can see, it is kind of a mess. I just wanted to do a little sped up version of me sifting through and organizing this mess to the best of my ability. I was watching Carrie organize her journaling cart and was inspired to really work on being more organized myself. I find that I often let myself get carried away when I take things out and then I just let everything pile up which really is not good so hopefully this is a fresh start for me. I began by laying everything in my cabinet out on my bed and categor categorizing it so scrapbook paper pads together, notepads together, things like that because as you saw in my cabinet I just let everything pile up. There were a lot of loose sticker books as well so a long time ago I put a video up showing my sticker collection and what I usually do is I end up ripping out the pages in a sticker book and then I slip the sheets into sheet protectors and put them in a binder so it's much more organized and manageable but I guess I just got lazy with some of them and I really only do that for the dollar sticker books you can find at Michael's like the craft smart ones or happy planner sticker books I keep them together because there are 20 or so pages in those books which is so bulky maybe I'll do an updated sticker collection sometime if you'd be interested I don't really know why I have so many notebooks pads I think I just bought so many at the Dollar Tree one day um, when I was like really into pen palling and now I just have an unnecessary surplus but I mean they're always good to have for notes happy mail or like to glue into my journal once in a while I also have quite a few scrapbook paper pads I've promised myself to not buy anymore because they really take up a lot of space and I really don't need that much paper so that's it on that front for me. Most of those are Christmas ones too, which is so unnecessary. So you'll see in this cabinet, I have a lot of extra junk, like old hair accessories from when I was a child, jewelry that I never wear. I can't bring myself to wear jewelry, honestly. I don't really like it. Earlier, I pulled out this nail polish container. There were just so many random little trinkets that I found in these storage containers that I stuffed away because there's no room in my actual closet. I did find this gift card tin with a bunch of random magazine words, which I thought was interesting and creative. I'm really not sure what my intention was with that, but I'm thinking I'll use it in my journal for collages or maybe some sort of prompt. So yeah, my room was just a mess with things everywhere. I'd put all those hair accessories aside to give to my younger cousin, and next came organization. So I decided to put all my Christmas stuff together and put it in the top drawer so it's separate and out of the way. My scrapbook paper pads, sticker books, washi tape in the bin, and stickers in the folder. And then I took my magazine cutouts that I'd put in my magazine cutout file folder and just plopped them into the drawer. Then it was time to put all my note sheets away in a bin and then all my various envelopes and note cards in this nice shoe box so that I have them in the same place when working on Happy Mail. I then tried to gather all my sticky notes and put them in the pencil case that I keep them in. You'd be surprised, sticky notes are really cute journaling ephemera and so useful and functional as well. So then it was time to organize my shelves. I tried putting all the paper on one shelf. As you can see, I have a lot of construction paper. One day in my freshman year of college, I needed it for a project and I ended up with a giant package of construction paper. I can definitely find different ways to use it though. Then I put those sticker books in that empty space there. And then I just put my storage containers on the second and third shelves. I don't know where I got the Sterilite containers, but they're super useful. So in those containers, I have one for stamps, one for notepads, one for miscellaneous things like duct tape, a sticker maker, and then I have one for Polaroid camera film. My dad had this like really old Polaroid camera from like the 80s, 90s with a bunch of film. And then I also have one of those more modern Instax cameras, so I keep all of that in there. I decided to put my sticker binder and ephemera file folders in here too. They used to be stuffed in like the bottom drawer beside my bed, so I'm glad to have moved them now and now I can have more space for other random trinkets. Now I'm just adding other random things to the cabinet like my project life cards, this container with mechanical pencils and dry erase markers, and overall this cabinet is somewhat organized. So next is tackling the washi tape drawers. I have a lot of tape, enough to last a lifetime. 
I was not about to organize them by color as I don't have the patience for that anymore so I kind of just put them wherever there was an empty space. I have a couple of different storage containers for them. One is from Michaels, another is just a pencil case. I also use those tubes that they come in from the store and then I just place them nicely back in the tier drawers. I find most of my washi from craft stores in America like Michaels and Hobby Lobby. Some I ordered from AliExpress but I'm going on a no more washi restriction for the rest of the year because this is kind of excessive. So yeah that's it for this little organization session. I know it was a short video but I didn't want to make it too long and bore you as it literally took me the whole day to work on this project and sift through things I did and did not want. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!